So how else could Screencastify fit into the classroom in a regular, almost day-to-day fashion? Well, one other really neat way to use it is to do parent communication. And you've probably sent home the email newsletter or the paper in the student's backpacks or whatever, even trying to call parents. And it's so hard to get in touch and actually get those messages through to parents. And I know so often parents are craving an understanding of what's going on in the classroom. They want to be involved and they want to know how the education is going on uh, with their with their kids. And so by creating screencast videos, this is a really great way to keep car- keep parents in a loop. So imagine doing a screencast video maybe once a week for all of the parents of all of your students. And so if this was for an elementary class, imagine you starting up a screencast video with some slides, maybe this is one of them, and you talk about the things that are going on that week, any reminders that they need, and you can walk through kind of like the day-by-day schedule of the different things that you're doing. You could also share um, pictures or video clips of what's going on in class so that parents really know what's happening. Happening. Now, of course, you could also do individual screencast videos, make those really kind of shorter ones and just give the update and the progress report. Think of it as almost like digital parent teacher conferences, where if the parents can't make it into the school, then you can at least record this video and send it to them. And hopefully they'll be able to watch it and will be able to um, understand what's going on better in the classroom. And so by boosting that parent communication, that can have huge impact on the amount of learning that's coming out of every school year. And if parents are able to be in on that process, it's great, Um, especially if you're able to communicate with them and give them some information.